beautiful. Never in the history of photography have so many pictures been taken by so many people. Exude, darling, come on, exude. And surely this explosion in the number of pictures being taken is mainly down to the development of these easy to use digital cameras. Since their launch in 1997, around 300 million digital cameras have been sold across the world, and that doesn't include mobile phones. It's been one of the fastest take ups of new technology ever. Unlike traditional cameras, which expose light sensitive film to create an image, modern digital cameras rely on clever bits of technology like this. This sensor produces the information for every one of the several million pixels that will make up the final image. It's incredible. Cameras have certainly come a long way in a very short period of time, but old school technology can still have its uses. Here's a question. What do astronauts, undercover investigators and Renaissance artists all have in common? The answer? The pinhole camera. The pinhole camera is the very foundation of photography. Now this one's a little bit too small to demonstrate how it works. So we've made a bigger one. We've produced what we believe to be the world's first camera shed. So using black plastic sheeting, blackout cloth and black tape both inside and out, we've made sure that no light whatsoever can penetrate the interior of the shed. Then we've drilled a hole in the door, stuck a shutter to the back of that and then drilled a tiny hole through the shutter itself. So the only light getting in is through that tiny hole there. Sitting inside the shed behind the pinhole is Richard. He's hoping to pick up and draw Johnny's image on this white piece of canvas. As my eyes are adjusting to it, I can clearly see Johnny waving. That is brilliant. This phenomenon was known about as early as the 14th century, and it's thought that classical artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo used it to aid their paintings. It's so easy, anyone can do it. All you have to do is trace around the image. Ta-da! Wow, your original pinhole portrait, there you go. And because they can be made so small, they're very useful for spy work. In fact, I'm spying right now. There's a pinhole camera in this pen, and there's another one built into this tie. The lens is right there. And because they have a very wide field of view and a massive depth of focus, you can see loads. However, while pinhole cameras have their uses, for most situations, the quality of an image is dramatically improved by the addition of a lens. Lenses help because they enable you to focus more light into a camera for a brighter, sharper image. 